What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and today I'll be building a three ball arsenal with hammer bowling balls. At the top, I got the Black Widow 2.0 hybrid, in the middle, the Dark Web hybrid, and of course, the Radioactive Vibe to finish it out. Three completely different bowling balls that should complement each other well. We're gonna talk about all this stuff, look at some specto data, and we're gonna talk about how you should maybe build a three ball arsenal to work for your game. Before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's see this hammer three ball arsenal in action. All right, it's kind of a new video type. We're gonna talk about building an arsenal and what kind of balls you should be looking at in one brand. Today, we're gonna to talk about hammer. We got a lot of good releases out, so it's time for me to show you what a three ball arsenal could look like in the hammer line, starting with the hammer Black Widow 2.0 hybrid, the dark web hybrid, and the radioactive vibe. So completely different bowling balls. One thing in common they all do have is HK22. One's a symmetrical with a medium differential. One is a symmetrical hybrid with a little bit higher differential, a little bit lower RG. And then we got the big ASIM up top with the most skid flip. So I'm just gonna throw some shots. We got Specto running. We won't lean on the data too much today with this kind of video, but we're just gonna throw these at all different parts of the lane and just see what you see where balls can maybe be a little bit more versatile or be beneficial to have. So say if you're using one ball, when's it time to transition it to another? So with the Vibe, you know, we call this ball like the house shot killer, right? You keep it in, better from straighter angles, or you just kind of keep it in like that. You just play through the oil nice and straight. Now, what if you try that with a stronger ball? You know, what if you're kind of practicing, you start with your strongest ball. Say, for instance, we start off the night with, with Black Widow, and we try to play that same zone. What's gonna happen? Well, let's find out what happens here. We we'll use a ball that's strong asim down in the middle of the lane. As you see, didn't quite have the finish. Now, that doesn't make sense, right? Why would a lower end ball hook more than a higher end ball? Well, the core is using a lot more energy and the cover's a lot stronger in the Black Widow. So it's gonna use a lot more energy in the front part when you're playing straighter like that in dry lanes, like a house shot, like I'm bowling on, right? Now, what if we went in the middle and try to use like Dark Web where it has a little bit, you know, weaker core compared to Black Widow, but kind of in the middle. It's gonna be smooth. So it's gonna be not as angular as the Vibe, but still have that pop, maybe that carry on the back that the Black Widow didn't. So very smooth on that one. See, it didn't go through the pins quite as well, but it held pocket, still struck. See, now when we start moving in, you know, say if, for instance, you know, the Vibe or let's say for what we're taking right now, dark web. It's hooking too much or rolling out too much or leaving a lot of 10 pins. Then where do we go? So say if I make an adjustment on that, you know, as the lanes break down and I start moving in. All right, we rolled a two pin, but the ball never responded. So what can I do? I can either change hand positions, I can change the way I throw it, there's a lot of different adjustments you can make with the same ball. But when's the time to get out of that ball and maybe into a stronger ball? So in that case, where we're in a little bit now, opening up our angles, we're gonna try the Black Widow 2.0 hybrid again and see if we can't get that ball to tip and respond harder as we open up our angles. As you see, split, but what was the difference between those two shots? That ball saw the friction and did a left turn, whereas the other one was very smooth and lazy comparatively. So you wanna have these kind of bowling balls in your bag. The slower, stronger, smoother ball, the skid flippy ball where you can get in and hook it, and then you're gonna want that symmetrical all-purpose ball in the Vibe, which is also still pretty flippy. Okay, so. That ball obviously gets up and goes. I need to move left. That was a good shot, but it came off the spot so hard. 
we got to get in and hook it some more. We need some more oil to find. And we're right back in the pocket, going through the pins. That's the most important part of the thing. Don't just watch your ball hook. Don't just watch your ball go down the lane. Watch your ball go through the pins. That's so important. I can't stress that enough. Keep watching with how that ball interacts with the pins and goes through it. That'll tell you everything you need to know whether you're in the right ball or not. All right, so to the point, we're gonna switch to Vibe in that same zone. Now this ball is inherently flippy, but it's a little bit less aggressive as you play through oil. So will it respond just as hard or will it come behind the head pin? I mean, we're about to find out. Being a house shot, this might do well. And it did just fine. Very smooth off the spot. You know, compared to Black Widow, where it saw it a lot harder. We'll see the two side by side. But you can play either one, and depending on your rev rate and the way you like to play them or how much friction you see, either one could be a good option from there. Now, if I try to go dark web again from that same zone, the results I might not like. You know, and if you watch this original dark web video, this ball was much better performer playing straighter angles, controlling the pocket, rather than opening up my angles and kind of throwing it left to right. So from that same zone, I'm gonna to try to throw the same shot and see what we see. So it got back, but as you can clearly see, the ball rolled forward. If a ball rolls forward at the pins, it's good for control, and it's good for further out, but when you're trying to open the angles up and you gotta get it back through, the ball has to continue hooking through the pins. The ball still went through the pins, but it left an eight pin because it was rolling forward through the pins. Tough break. I tend to always leave an eight pin. So from playing further in, dark web, probably not the best bet. When you start moving in, you know, just as you're playing out, you know, the, the Black Widow is not going to be a great ball to start with playing further out. It's going to be a ball you use when you need to move in and hook it. Vibe, it could be your versatile ball, all around purpose ball. So from there, as we move even further, we'll go Black Widow again. We'll really open up the angles. Now we're really getting into some burn. The lanes, they're broken down. I need to hook it, I need to get around it. There's a lot of hook to the right. Big ASIM is where I want to be. Easy ball to control. Open up your angles, you know that ball's coming back. It's gonna change direction and have enough angle to get through the pins. More often than not, if we try to throw dark web in there, we're gonna be flat tenning, and we'll try it anyway just to show. Just doesn't have the giddy up on the back end to change that corner and get through the pins. Now the Vibe might be able to do it once there's enough friction. That's the key. The Vibe can do it if you have enough friction because it's versatile enough and the cover is clean enough and flippy enough that you might be able to get it off that spot, but it probably won't have the authority that the Black Widow has. It's in the oil more. Yeah, you can see it just kind of labors a little bit, labors a little bit. So when you're building an arsenal and you're wanting to stick with one brand, because I know there's everybody out there that has their specific brands they really like. So I wanted to start with the Hammer 3 Ball Arsenal, what I would pick right now with the balls available. Hammer Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid, Dark Web Hybrid for controlling the pocket, and the versatile ball, the Vibe Radioactive. So three completely different balls in price and category, but you can mix and match these ones. How would you build a three ball hammer arsenal? What would be your three in the line or not, past or present? How would you build it and what's your thought process behind it? Let me know in your comments below how you would build your three ball arsenal. I'll talk to you guys soon. Please subscribe.